Hello, I'm Jenny from Jenny's British Pronunciation. I'm going to talk to you today about the letter T and the sound T. If you are a speaker of French, you will know that the T sound is lighter in French. T. Tu t'es entendu? Whereas in English, it's a lot more explosive. Tom told Tina to try to tango. Let's look more closely at that sentence. Tom told Tina to try to tango. Here's another example. Terry has a tiger in his tank. Practice these sentences as much as you want. The T sound has three possible positions in a word. It can be at the beginning, like in the word Tom, tree, tenacious, it can be in the middle, like in the word 14, letter, 30. Or it can be at the end, like in the word defeat, hit, cat. Here are some more t words for you to practice. Titanic, tomato, twitter, fantastic, like the fantastic four. Liaisons become a problem with the t sound if you're not careful. You link the t sound if it is followed with a vowel sound. Example, what is it? What is it? Tis. What is it? It is hot today. It is hot today. It is. It is. Tis. It is hot today. Here's a small dialogue example. Turn the light off, Tom. It's late. I need it on. I've got a lot to read. And some other examples for you to practice. It is true. Stop it. First of all, take it off and put it away. Put it in your pocket. And Michael Jackson's song, Don't stop till you get enough. Consonant clusters will often involve a t sound. A consonant cluster is where you have a group of consonants together. So here are five examples. Postman. Postum. Postman. Facts. 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 Asked. Asked. Correctly. Correct correctly exactly exactly in American English they have what is called the flap T where in certain circumstances the T that is before a vowel sound will transform into a D sound so in British English I would say pretty flowers an American English speaker would say pretty flowers pretty pretty T becomes a D. Butter. A bit of butter. An American English speaker would say butter. A bit of butter. Using the flap T. A letter. A letter. I've got to write a letter today. If you want to look at more on this, you, could, you might like to study the Country Life advertisement from the 1980s. The slogan was, you can't put a better bit of butter on your knife. And if you look here, you can click on this link and it will take you to YouTube and the ad for the butter that was in the 1980s. Now be careful of spellings. The letter T is not always pronounced as a T and not all T sounds are written with a T. Listen, castle, asked worked but we will return to this later now it's your turn here are a selection of t words for you to practice and here are five sentences you must prepare these sentences for when you next come to class and we will work on them together you can find more exercises on my blog pages and that's it thank you for listening and i'll see you again soon Bye.